How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otto and this is another episode of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and in today's episode, well, before we continue with the main story, which is giving this old man the leg, now nah, let me show you what I fucking got around here, alright? So, what we did, I have, I think I have a new axe. This axe looks pretty badass. We have this uh, cool assault rifle, but over here I have some new guns. I'm keeping them just because we haven't really used these guns that much. I have a legendary shield. You might be wondering, oh, where did you find a legendary shield? Uh, I found it in a trash bin. Now I was doing some shit between episodes. I was collecting dices, and I was doing some other bullshit. I don't really remember what I fucking did. It's been a while. See, if I recorded this right after I did these uh, sub things, I did sub things like. All this additional bullshit. I would have remembered what I did, but it's it's like I started the game. You can tell I did stuff because I changed GZB's appearance again. Now he's wearing a mask. He looks like Sub Zero. That's why I put him in blue. That's another color that GZB sometimes does appear in blue. Even though I'm not a fan of blue, but I just feel like it fits him. I like warmer colors, not colder ones. Unless it's like white and very very pale blue. That's kind of cool. Those those I like. But this blue he has, eh, it's not that, not that great. Yeah, so I found a legendary shield. I actually found two different legendary shields, but this one was better. Also, last episode, my shield was uh, at capacity of 1,900. Now I have a shield capacity 3,500, so that's quite a fucking upgrade. And yeah, I have some other bullshit. I don't remember even what I changed. I know for sure that I'm keeping these two guns, which have insane damage on them, as you can see. On purpose, because, well... I don't know, I feel like I haven't used these guns. I currently hold that much, so... Yeah, and what else did I do? Well, collected that... Oh, yeah! Here's here's the footage of me finding poetry pages, because I did found some poetry pages. They say the dank forest has fallen quite low, but once it was bright as a garden, just so. For the rest of that poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern in Brayhook. Mushrooms are dreadful, or so I've been told. Not to tangle with toadstools, nor mingle with mold. Did you like that poem? You can hear the rest of it at the tavern in Brayhook. Tavern keep, tell the cooks, serve up your finest. Pour me the sweetest of all that's on tap. For the rest of that. Poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern and break Yeah, so when I was going around the map, looking for dices, I also realized that, oh, I didn't really collect all the poetry pages that there are. So here you have uh, footage. Here you have footage of me collecting fucking stuff. I don't know what the fuck. Also, while this fucking old man is chewing our ears off, there's an obelisk we can quickly complete over here. I don't know if you guys figured out, but this side story is kind of a parody of Pinocchio. Otto, I guess, is supposed to be Geppetto. We'll be fighting this stuff and this totem thing. This gun, this gun feels pretty fucking badass, but something about it just fucking rubs me the wrong way. How unimpactful shots feel. It's like I shoot the enemies and the butt so just kind of fly everywhere. Like I'm not even sure, am I hitting the targets, am I not? Check this out. Yeah, so we're using the Graveborn uh, skills. Which in this case are, I don't know, he goes insane mode, and he does some bullshit. I don't even know what to describe this as. Skeletons don't seem to be that much bothered by fire. They are bothered by ice. So I have some things where I apparently become stronger, but my health is dropping. That's the thing about the Graveborn, his skills are kind of shit. I'm not a fan of the idea of this guy's skills. It's like his skills are supposed to be risky. 
Like, you know, you can turn on your action skill and gain increased damage, but you're losing health constantly, so I don't know if that's actually that good of a thing. I got a new spell too. I'm gonna get to use it because I'm dead now. Oh, and it fucking wasted my spell. Now, I don't need to repeatedly press the trigger, I can just hold it. Yeah, last episode we also unlocked the fourth weapon slot, and now I have a sniper rifle that, I, like I just, like I said many times, kind of suck dick. I oh, know that spells alright, but it's like kind of, kind of sucks dick. Look, a snake person. Now we fought snake people before. Yeah, so I was recording a lot of Uncharted this week and Sleeping Dogs and I made my Easter special video. But that's why this episode might be... Because before, like, when I sat down with this game, I would sit down and record nothing but this game for a whole week. That's how the first couple of episodes... That's how the first 20 episodes were, I think. But now... I do have a little bit more... More other let's plays to record. Also, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you know what? I actually changed my mind. I, I didn't. I kind of forgot at what point I left this game. I see. If I'm here, then that means. Wait, what does that mean? Very nice. New axe. So this wasn't worthless. It wasn't worthless to begin with because you know we gained an obelisk. That's another. That's one of the collectibles we have to get. Now what's that? Hmm, Berserker. I only care about the Berserker power. I don't really care about the other stat. I mean, it would be cool if I had my ice powers increased. That'd be nice, but... Also, you know what I realized uh, by collecting all the dice is I gained like a fuck ton of experience. Last episode... I only had about experience for like... Look how much experience you get from these dices. I leveled up from collecting dices and then filled up my XP bar like halfway through. That's a lot of XP from a dice. This location's pretty big, like I said last episode, so there's a lot of stuff to do in here. And I did mention how we're probably gonna be stuck in this location for a while now. Uh, we're probably gonna spend a couple of episodes in here, so it's not that. I, I have yet to figure out a, a way to do this location in like the most optimal way. I kind of wish this fucking old man would. I don't know. You've been here before, so. Why is your son still trapped? That I don't know. But perhaps with your help, Now what do you know? Oh, look, I have a fire axe now. It's a fire axe. Look, a giant. Uh, maybe that's Mobley Dick. No, I would have killed Mobley Dick. It was a shark. Never mind then. Guess that's just a big whale. Does look pretty disgusting. The ocean may have come down with a small case of exploding. I'm just. I had nothing to do with that. It was my doing. There's nothing to fire. That's bullshit. There's a dice up there. I want to get it. There's also some stuff over there. Snake people. Assault rifle, you know what I was shitting on this assault, assault rifle before, but it's not that bad. Maybe the version I found earlier was like bad because it was... Maybe the version I found earlier was bad because it was actually lower damage than what I had. But when I found this assault rifle in this playthrough, it was actually better damaged. Also, I remember that you can actually get there. You can get there like by jumping around somehow. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
Lend me, lend me a hand, crab. Fuck, I jumped up there. I fucking know I did. You can do it somehow. I fucking did it before. There's crabs up there making fun of me. It's a fucking crab. I hate him. That's a good shotgun I have. Or do I... Maybe that's not the path I took. Anyway, well, that's not the path I took before. Before I would approach it from this side. The funny thing, I approached it from this side somehow when I was playing with that other guy. Teal no, that's his name. And he couldn't do it, and then I jumped off to show him how to do it, and I couldn't fucking do it now anymore either. Yeah, so I guess I did settle with uh, using sniper rifles, because I upgraded my ammo capacity. You know, I changed my character's look. I changed my skill, I changed some other bullshit, that doesn't matter. So much purple collectibles, Jesus. I mean, customization items in this game. It's almost too many of them, there's like statue poses, statue patterns. Banner pieces. I don't care about the banner pieces that much. Only thing I care is like the haircuts and stuff. And I haven't found that many of them anyway. It'd be funny if the DLC to this game actually comes out before I even fucking... Before I even manage to fucking... Finish this game. This is episode 21, I believe. So I would say we're halfway through. I mean, when you look on my level, I am halfway through. Because max level is 40. Alright, it's just fine. Not your friend, bitch. Anyway, let's take a picture of this whale. I could take a picture of this whale with my demulage. Like this. Maybe not in his mouth. Now he could, now he would be covered by the. I gotta do this more often because I was running out of like things to put on the thumbnail. And I was like, "Fucking why is there not this many cutscenes in this game?" Recently, I kind of have trouble with that. Uncharted giving me trouble with that. You'd think Uncharted being such a cinematic game, there'd be plenty of opportunities to take thumbnails. But in Uncharted 1, there's actually not that many cutscenes. There's mostly gameplay and characters talking during gameplay. I don't know if it has photo mode, but I'll, I'll admit that the photo mode in... I can't go this way. The photo mode in Uncharted 1 is not as good as the photo mode here. I mean, it is kind of the same, but slightly worse. You know what, next time I play Uncharted, I'm gonna try to, like, during a gunfight, take screenshots of some of the enemies. See how that works out. Imagine this gun, but with the whole replenishing ammo thing. That'd be badass. What's, 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 what's the fuck's this? Ow, my fucking hand. Also, I have so much fire shit right now. I have a fire axe, fire gun, and resistance to fire. It's like I changed my ice element to fire, because I'm a fired up guy. Such a warm heart. I'll get the head. Look at this head. Oh, you can't? Oh yeah, because an alternative shooting mode, and now all of a sudden my crossbow's upside down. There's crystals in my crossbow, but they don't fall out when they turn around. And yeah, now I have a rocket launcher. Warlands do hit it. sometimes when you put pick up an assault rifle. It would actually be a grenade launcher. I believe there were a couple of weapons like that. There was a shotgun that definitely shot grenades instead of normal bullets. So in Borderlands 2 you had grenade launchers as well. They were just made to look like assault rifles or shotguns. Oh, this guy's in like a 
endless cycle. So it's some kind of a weird fucking time loop story and a Pinocchio story. I feel bad for Otto. Will I? I don't know. And my hand's shaking. Took a nice little photo of her. Smile for the camera. Damn it, there's a s acid splash. Hold on, I'm gonna take a better photo now. Oh, this looks pretty good. Looking cute, looking cute, lovely. Would date you if you weren't evil. Or a snake bitch. Do I shoot some kind of weird grenades too when I do that? I wanna see my grenade rifle again. She really wasn't all that tough. It's finished. Can you stand up? All bark and no bite. Yeah, I was going to make fun of this head. It looks really silly. Look at it. That's what matters. Looks really cute. Now, the boy. Restore. What do I shoot? I guess grenade. Grenades. Oh yeah, well, I gotta get head. That's what. I gotta get. I put Pinocchio back together. I think I screenshot off of him. Can I even do that? Nah, he turned into a human. Pretty, pretty ripped. That's what it takes to be this ripped, just be turned into a doll. And I guess when you're a doll you don't eat much. You don't put on fat. But how do you get these muscles? I wish I could spray in this game, like in Half-Life or something, where I could just spray something stupid around here just to ruin the scene. Oh no, Otto! Oh, another way to ruin the scene. It is a shame, but we have to move on. Who are you? Me, I'm GZB, what's up? friend of this you are mine as well for i have no one left now that he's gone now you're my father he spent his life trying to save yours so make it count all right now, i'll make it better find a way out of here. futile <laughs> all right you hope i'm as ripped as him under all that armor i'm wearing you've done. you aren't coming i'll stay a moment longer if that's all right it's not. My dreams. I haven't seen his face in so many years. For the inside of a whale, this place is surprisingly cozy. You guys ever seen videos of whales trying to be like, you know, like when whales wash ashore? Oh, fuck off. And when whales wash ashore, you know, and people try to move them somewhere because they usually die. I see a video of like some, like some, I don't guess. Some truck trying to move a whale away to like a safe spot because apparently whale inside of them they're full of gases and they can blow up at any fucking point and yet the fucking whale like blew up on a street just filled the whole street with guts guts and blood pretty fucked up did i miss something there appears to be something hidden over here a lucky dice Bunch of crabs. Why don't you look at that? I level up. Right, we got mortal coil, and then we have. Go to the drowned abyss. That's a main quest. Well, I guess I'm gonna talk to Phil. Ah, this kind of sucks. I should have gone talk to Phil first. Kind of fucked it up, but whatever. Alright, what are we going with next? 
max health, max dark magic efficiency. Well, I don't always have dark magic. That's the thing. Maximum health, dark magic efficiency. Gonna go with that, I guess. And I've gotta go find Phil. How long is this episode? 17 minutes. Well, I gotta keep in mind... What the fuck is with my shadow? I lost my body? What, am I Rayman? Well, Rayman had a body. I had limbs. I'm like the opposite Rayman. Speaking of Rayman... Uh, a while back... I believe there was actually some kind of showcase. I don't even know what the fuck it was about. But what they did show on it is the like upcoming Rayman cartoon. And it seems like it's meant to be a prequel to the Rayman like story. You know, Rayman doesn't have that big of a story. Because Rayman in it is a baby. And looks fucking stupid by the way. So yeah, Rayman fans stay fucking losing as always. Not getting any new games since 2013. Like Grand Theft Auto fans. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice comparison, I guess. You gotta find Phil, talk to him, do the bullshit. Thank God pirates are weak to fire. Eh, pirates are weak to anything. They are most importantly weak to being shot at. I don't know why I would aim with this rifle when it just shoots whenever the fuck it wants. Aiming with it seems kind of pointless. Can't wait till now I'm gonna... Oh, hello. What did I miss? Somebody just standing over there doing nothing. Did you notice I changed the crosshair colors too? Doesn't do much, I just thought it'd be kind of cute. There we go. Very nice. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, should I? I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just follow the main quest. What's up with this quest? Hello, dear. Come help a frail. Oh. The tale of Crooked Eye Phil. Now, the objective was meant to be nice to him, but they still call him Crooked Eye Phil. I'm using a one-handed axe in this game. There's no double-handed axes. There are double-handed swords. But no axes. That kind of sucks. And this spell sucks dick. Or oh, that guy's just immune to acid. So many acids this guy did, he's immune to it. The other special ability I have is probably even worse than this one I have. So we'll probably just go back to my old one at some point. Yeah, I have a sniper rifle that I'll probably never use. I don't wanna die. Now this quest actually gives you a pretty cool assault rifle from what I remember. Better be better than this gun, because I'm not a fan of it. Oh, you fail. Look, now I'm known as a Braver. That's an awful name, Braver. I'm a Braver. I was curious, are there any words in like any language that have three of the same letter in a row? There aren't. And the only word I could find whenever I, when I looked that up a while back was girl. You know, as in like, girl but with three R's in it. So it's like girl. Yeah, that was the only war they could find. I know I'm um, talk like crashing shit around, not listening to this hilarious dialogue. I don't really mind the Borderlands writing. Borderlands 3 got a little annoying with it, like using all this fucking meme internet talk. I talked about that before, haven't I? Okay, okay. What's his deal? 
He doesn't sound evil. He sounds like any other pirate I met in this area. More like big old figgit. Faggot, I mean. totally probably not, but maybe evil dude out of there. What's going on? I was watching more Cromartie High School, right? Speaking of faggots. Because they do say that a lot in that anime. Well, a lot. They said it once, I think. But I was still surprised they said that. I was like, man, I guess it was 2003. Alright, let's do this bullshit. Whatever this is. Now I have Berserker and my fucking insane whatever this is going on. I haven't run out of ammo for this gun. Okay, so the guy said he had a certificate of this gun is chewing through ammo really fast, but I still haven't run out of ammo. Hmm, better armor. I guess I do wear fucking green shitty armor, so it doesn't matter that much. Does it? Well, it is better. Do I look different? I'm always curious what do I look different in this fucking game. I always love to put all the stats on my face. Yeah, I got like some nice fucking fur around my neck. That's nice. Thank you. Better than having Thank huge you. shoulder pads like before. I guess we need to find direction, yeah? Yeah, in this episode, uh, my favorite character, who's the leader of the bad guys. What's his name? His name is Yama Yamaguchi. Yeah, so now... We can go back to the location we came from, pretty much, and then we can talk to this, those pirates we saw, or at least I saw, maybe you didn't saw them, I don't know. And we can follow a completely different location before we move on with the other quest. So yeah, I know I picked up a quest, but we're not gonna complete that quest until later, alright? I'm gonna do that quest some other time. Some other time, I mean at the end of this location, probably. Keep in mind, this location is not required to beat the game, it's a side location. So technically, I could actually go with the main location. Maybe I should do it the next time. Like, I should follow the plot for like two locations in a row, and then I'll do all the side ones. Or maybe not, because then we would completely forget what the main plot was about. I already kind of forgot what the main plot was about. It's not like in this game it matters. In Borderlands, at least I would care. Because all the plot was in, would be important to the plot of the game. Oh, wait a fucking skip some bullshit. Who the fuck's throwing stuff? That's why there's so many snake people around? Because I'm doing the quest if I killed all of them. This map only shows where the local town is. Well, then I guess you better find a local then, huh? Let's go find a local. A local local. Locomotive. That was a boss in Borderlands 3. Would you guys ever think in Borderlands 2 that at some point in Borderlands 3 you would fight the train from the beginning of the game? The train that crashed. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. That was supposed to be the train from the beginning of Borderlands 2. With the button, I was about to question, what is this little ball on my gun? It's a button. Yeah? Where do you think I get all the movies and anime I watch? And that wasn't a joke, I pirate everything I watch. Who the fuck has the money and the patience to be subscribing to five different fucking subscription services just to watch something? Speaking of which, I bet none of the subscription services have Cromartie High School anyway. Alright, how long is this up? So 26 minutes. I don't know why I'm starting recordings like kind of later than usual. I don't mean to. It just kind of happens. Maybe because I'm staying up late. Well, I'm not, that's the thing. To sleep for a very long time. Definitely don't have sleep deprivation, I have like the opposite. Sleep too much.
What are they saying though? Cause I kind of forgot. Oh yeah, in this episode, he wants to get a right hand man because he, de I guess, never had a right hand man because all of his men are dumbasses. So he brings over a guy who he says is badass enough to be his right hand man. And then it turns out that this guy is also a ventriloquist. Like that Batman villain. You know, he gets a doll that he makes it look like she it speaks, right? So now all of the guys from his gang are confused which which one of them is the, the right hand man? Is it the doll or is it the guy? And then the guy doesn't seem to know either. Because the doll's kind of a dick while the guy's kind of creepy. There's no ventriloquist who's not creepy. Uh, it's, it's a requirement when you're a ventriloquist to be creepy. Ventriloquism alone is creepy, so I don't know how can you be not creepy while you're a ventriloquist. So many snake people around and they just fucking annoy me. And what the fuck I was saying though, I kind of forgot. I don't know. Probably some bullshit. Oh, yeah, I was talking about that episode. Then I got distracted by ventriloquism. Kind of a hard word to pronounce. Nothing around here, alright. And then... Enter Phil's cave. Do I really have to go to a cave now? Well, it seems like that's the case. Hmm, it's better than what I got. Kind of... A lot better, to be honest. Oh, uh, you're saying like, Arush, come on, you tossed away a legendary gun for some blue fucking rifle? Yes, I did. That gun sucked. Look, I'll prove to you this gun's better already. Alright, I didn't prove it that much. Missed half of my shots. Ah no, it's not wasting ammunition. Didn't meant to do that. Like the other one. I guess it wasn't wasting ammunition. And it had fire damage. Oh whatever. If I was paying attention to that, I would have never fucking changed that gun. And then before I knew that. It would become outdated and suck ass. Yeah, so the ventriloquist, they have a trouble. Oh yeah, by the way, we have a puzzle right now. On, I honestly... That's always how puzzles work. I, know. I honestly didn't know how to solve it at the beginning, because I just wasn't sure what the fuck is happening when I pulled the levers. Now we have to find that guy's certificate of non-evilness. That was the puzzle. I still have my doubts. Just, I so pulled close. every letter once. I know, right? I that's it? Him sound super evil. You, you just matched the white Maybe pattern? Was the black pattern supposed to throw me off? Why would it do that? I, admit, that had not occurred to me. I barely noticed there's a black pattern underneath. Right, Phil digs. I'm a voice is that what you want to hear? Hey, admitting it is the first step. Ugh. Yeah, and then the actual, like, the, the guy who sucks up to Yamaguchi, who I also really like, he has a pompadour mixed with a mullet. It's pretty cool if... If that's anything to go by, that guy's pretty fucking cool. I think his name is Ishikawa, actually. Kind of like Goemon's last name. Unless it is his last name, because I'm always fucking confused whether they're calling each other by first or last names in animes. Anime? Because anime doesn't have a pro plural. Does it? Yeah, and he ends up learning ventriloquism from Kamiyama, you know, the main protagonist. Who apparently is also a ventriloquist, just because. And he buys a really expensive doll, and then that doll becomes the right-hand man instead of Ishikawa. How long has this episode been? 41 minutes. Alright, then I guess see you fellas in the next. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.